All right, morning of day three, going to CTS for some fuel, some energy drinks. I didn't shoot anything this morning eating breakfast because I've just been so out of it. Doing this for, I guess, two full days now. Just, it's so exhausting. <laughs> yes, yes. So, yep, on our way to get some coffee and whatever else. Coffee, energy drinks. Caffeine. Uh, Heath is on his way up. We just talked to the Second Chance Overland guys. They brought some really cool rigs that I'm excited to shoot. So, fun day. Yeah, today's gonna be photo and GoPro. So hopefully, get some cool stuff. We'll see. It's a process. Hold my Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Oh. I'm glad happen. we got some big rigs coming out today. Do what? I'm glad we got some big rigs coming out today. There's a place. Oh, my cooler. You left my cooler open. Hope it's not full of crap. Oh, no, we're good. That's badass that it still has a ton of ice in it. The key for a cooler working well is keeping it closed. Usually. You put 87 in it? No, because we put 87 in it last time. It started dieseling. Oh. So I don't know if uh, it's because it doesn't have a hot enough spark but these one have put 91 in it. And it seemed to help last time, so. Well, because it wants to stall all the time, isn't diesel any helpful? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it stalled. So it has like an off idle hesitation. Yeah. I think it's too far advanced. So when they timed mm -hmm. it, I think they timed it like the road street. One yeah, I think uh, Wes was talking about pulling some out of it. I think he was asking when, when it broke yesterday, he was asking for, I think, a 15 mil or something. Yeah. To see if he can pull it back. Yeah, yeah. So maybe he realized that. And he a square body. So it's out of mansion. Oh, that's so sick. We're doing stuff that he'll be, he's doing. Damn. Feeling confident. Not to the equivalent because he's got probably 43s on there. But he's got what? 43s on there. Oh, yeah. But we'll get to what he's doing and play a little bit. We're going to park today. If we break, so be it. We can. I mean, it's already half broke, so. Yeah. We're going to full send it today. Those of you that don't know, maybe new to the problems of the TJ, uh, we are currently stuck in four low. We're having TK's problems and it's been grinding a lot. So I don't know if that's trans synchros or if that's just additional TK's nonsense, but it's, it's, uh, it's TK's hundred percent. It's doing the exact same problem we had before. So it's the synchros in the TK's, but the shift collar, we're just gonna get a new TK's. Yeah. So we're gonna full send this one. If it grenades today, we got enough vehicles to pull us out on the trailer. So it's already broken. We're gonna full send it. We're gonna break it if it breaks. <laughs> Hi, Heath. I'm so dumb, I forgot to put my boots on this morning. Oh, no. Yeah. So hopefully you it's not... Huh? I could have put on my boots too. I forgot, I was just being comfy. Put my shoes on. Didn't think about leaving camp. So this is an old mining shaft. I wonder where the shaft was. Like that way? I don't know. I think 
think I'm going to try it right here and then I'm going to curve up to the right a little bit. Careful coming back, you got that rock behind you. Let it roll back. Careful for that rock. Yeah. There you go. Uh oh. Hold it wide open. on the rock. gas in it. The pickup is terrible. My cooler's just hanging either, on for dear life. Hard driver or hard faster one. <laughs> My cooler's like, no! It's stuck now. Oh, hey, you're digging. You're digging real bad. Huh? Back left, you're digging deep. You got it. Jump that clutch, just slowly turn passenger as you come out. <laughs> the seat's just. I'm team, right? <laughs> <laughs> You get so close. 
I know you, you got this. You're like right there every time. About as close as your arm is to that start button. Yeah. <laughs> Just out of reach. <laughs> I think we need more GoPros. I know. <laughs> you get so close. I know you you got this. You're like right there every time. About as close as your arm is to that start button. Yeah. <laughs> Just out of reach. <laughs> I think we need more GoPros. I know. <laughs> That used to be a really cool shop. No, 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 no. no. This means time for upgrade. <laughs> there you go. Stop. Why do you like this? Did you like it? No. I don't want to get dirty on my throat. Oh. I mean, mud's one thing, but when you get grease and all that crap on I mean, fuck it. I guess I got to wash them out of the way. <laughs> we'll cover it up with something else later. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Hey now. Echoes 
Trying to put it back in low? No, that's the thing is, you can't put it in and out because the ship's not going to go the transportation. It's down at the bottom. Try to do it. Turn it off and try to do it. Frequency mode. There you go. Hey, shut the engine off and try to get it to shift in. staying in gear. So I was trying to see if maybe the lever's not acting funny. And the TK is it's, it's popping out? Yeah, like right now it's not in gear. Can you roll it a little bit? Like this one back? <clears throat> like caught, then uncaught, so maybe that's, that's it. Let's see. So were you driving and it popped out? No, I stopped, wait for everybody to catch up, and then I went to take off again, and I had no gears. I had a box of neutrals. Oh, man. He might have something. Hopefully it's for something. Even with four high, you can leave it in first and you're still good to go. Hey! <laughs> yeah! You got it! Nice! So it was the lever that just like came out? Yeah, it's the seam girls aren't lining up again, so okay. I don't know what we're having to do, but okay. we'll see what happens. Yes. Oh no! No! Is that high? Oh! <laughs> So I guess he got the lever popped back, but now it's in four high. <laughs> I mean, it's moving though, at least it's not stuck. Yeah, but it can't. Oh, well, he got out. I wonder if the lever popped out again. Did it pop out again? Oh, yeah. yeah so yeah. I guess he came to terms with it in like three seconds. <laughs> what did he say? He said, I'm gonna try and get it back in low. <laughs> transfer case on the TJ is now so bad that he cannot even hardly pop it out of gear to shift. So he managed to get the lever to lock it into low, and I think he's pretty much just stuck in first. So, did he? He's pushing his luck with that, but yeah, we were stopped for a minute and it wasn't wanting to do anything. So hopefully he has first and second, that'll be enough to get us through stuff. break or bind up like it was. We started in neutral. <laughs> yeah. So just to clarify, he's currently ratchet trapping his seat down because the tabs broke. Yep. Hey, Chance. 
Wanna, you want to tell everyone what you're using that strap for? No. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it? Why don't these money talk So, people leaving beer cans on the trail. That sucks. People suck. Uh, definitely want to leave the place nicer than you found it. People are not doing that. Super shitty. This is how you lose access to awesome trails. And that definitely sucks. Um, so pick up your stuff. When you come out, just pick up your stuff. What'd you get? The tahini. We're gonna make red beers. <laughs> If you actually get a bucket of drink the peel and then throw the key. I mean, no. Don't bring glass on the trails. No, lame. Especially if it breaks, that'll really screw some people over. <laughs> Might be dinner next time. <laughs> actually, you already have them. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear Wes? It's like buy me dinner next time and he's like wait you already did keep going. <laughs> this is my lucky shackle. Lucky shackle. <laughs> Maybe you just need to put that onto your transfer case and then <laughs> Oh it's my tuning fork. <laughs> Ding! Yep, still broken. It hasn't even made a noise since we've been up to that. I know, knock on wood. Like, like talking about rain. <laughs> no.
my sickies. Tree back there. Yeah. There you go. Oh no. It caught you. centered on a tree on the rear axle and then he kind of dug himself a little bit he's now having to pull cable up to his buddy right. in the truck up there to try and get him out
<laughs> Let her eat. All you gotta do is ease off the throttle. Don't stop. When it starts bouncing, just ease off the throttle and quit bouncing, but keep chewing. <laughs> that was a ride. Yes, sir. Straighten up. Straight back. You guys don't have a spot.
that's the situation. Hey, can you let it roll back now? Let it roll. About to start coming down. All right, both tires are down. Let's go. That could have gone way worse. <laughs> I was I've very seen a bouncer flop over on this one. That yeah, was just about you. Yeah. When you uh, let off and it slid this way, I was like, oh no. Yeah, I was waiting for it just to keep sliding and just topple right oh, in the water. Glad it didn't. <laughs> Poor Wes would probably never get in a rig again. I know, right? He was like, oh my God, are you serious? Yeah, I don't blame him. I didn't want to be in that Jeep with you. Better him than me. In there either. <laughs> <laughs> you put it there. Well, I was trying to take the original line that, or the last line that I took, and it cocked me over there. I was like, well, you like to take that line. Yeah. It's a trail trophy. That's right. So it is about 9 a.m. Uh, Sunday morning. Crazy weekend. We're just doing some last minute cleanup at the cabin uh trying to take the trash out we need to load up the tj and uh it's been raining all morning i just realized i left my straps on the tire um so we just need to finish taking the trash out and cleaning and stuff and then we're gonna load up the tj and head out you got you got everything yep so what's the plan um we're gonna load up all the trash into the back of this, and then drive it down into the trailer. Yeah, we'll grab everything that's in that barrel, throw it back with TJ. Okay. Run it down there, we'll uh, stop at CTS and throw it in the All righty. Really? Cool. So we got the TJ loaded. It's on the trailer. It is raining a ton. We're at CTS just outside of Crossbar and gonna air the truck back up and then dump the trash out of the TJ because we loaded up all the trash from the cabin into the back of that and then uh, we'll be headed home. So that was a wild trip. Final thoughts? It was a successful trip. I mean, it was a lot of steam blown off. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, a lot. It was a lot of fun for sure. Um, no, it was, it was very successful. There's a lot of new spots we tried, and then there was a bunch of uh, hard stuff that TJ went up that I was very surprised about. The TJ took everything we threw at it and it had did. really minimal problems. Yeah. And we even got it running a little bit better after we... Tuned it up a little bit. After we got it through start switch, we kind of figured out that it wasn't happy with the timing and some of the fuel. And Yeah, so there's a new trail out there called... Or not trail, there's a spot Obstacle. out there called yeah a little obstacle climb it used to be an old mine shaft but uh it's called start switch that's what we're naming it because i was the first one through it so we're uh naming it that and if you watch the video you'll know why <laughs> yeah it's right next to the rock garden it's just a little bit past that on the what the north end of the short course yeah it's way north of short course uh we'll we might find some way to mark it somehow i don't know how we're gonna we'll do something there and then uh we'll be back out here shortly so it was definitely a successful weekend. We had Sega Chance Overland guys with us. Uh, Heath came out. Oh, it was cool to see that. So like when people say Overland, I think really simple trails and like mostly just outfitted to have the vehicle like be sustainable, you know, cook out of it and sleep in it and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They were hitting some hard trails. Like they were keeping like Heath over here is a beast and was just going through some of the wildest stuff. And I didn't know if they were gonna be able to make it, but dude, they went through yeah. it just fine. 
Yeah, and, and Mike's Jeep was not a Jeep that you would typically have on these trails. No. And I texted him after, I was like, hey, sorry, that's a little more than our usual. Oh, but, he uh, pinstriped the hell out of that thing. The side did. was all carved out from a branch overhang. Yeah. I feel bad for the Jeep. Yeah. But, you know, ne next time we have these guys out, we probably won't do something as big as that. But we put the TJ through its hoops and paces the whole weekend and it took yeah. everything we threw at it we so, beat the crap out of it um came close to flipping it once where was that <laughs> the creek coming out at rock face oh I yeah yeah far right side yep. coming out of the creek okay i didn't know you were close to flipping i mean i knew you had some angle on it but oh i mean i was like i could reach my hands behind me kind of thing and touch the fuel tank if i wanted oh geez yeah like it was yeah that's... it was up there uh, the front right was coming up yeah it was fun but yeah it was definitely every bit worth it. Crazy. So. Crazy.